Introduction. We live in a very stressful world. You probably don't need me to remind you of that fact. Why are we so stressed out? Why do we feel so much pressure? Why does it seem like contentment and peace are so hard to find? Well, for most people, they simply just have too many duties, responsibilities, distractions, and routines taking up their time and attention. If you were to slice and dice and dissect your daily schedule, you probably would fit into this category as well. There's just so much that you have to cram into your mind every single day. It is no surprise that a lot of people develop the following symptoms of stress. They have short attention spans. When they read stuff online, they can barely pay attention until another item shows up on their Facebook timeline and they forgot about the stuff that they were reading before. They don't really read materials, they just scan. That's how short most people's attention span is. Next, stressed out people overreact emotionally. It seems like everything that you perceive or become aware of is some sort of judgment or is somehow, some way related to you. You personalize everything. Everything's personal. And it's no surprise that you tend to react emotionally. This may be due to the fact that you're stressed out. You may be reading too much into things. But unfortunately, once we open our mouths, we end up hurting people. We end up making decisions that we come to regret later on. Another symptom of too much stress is simply a lack of patience. You don't feel like you want to stick around for anything. This is a very serious problem because it can lead to road rage if you're stuck in traffic. This can lead to violent disagreements with friends and family members. You might hurt your relationships because you simply have grown impatient in dealing with people. People are people. It often takes time for people to get their act together. Finally, you get this generalized sense of anxiety and frustration. You can't quite put your finger on it, but you feel that something is missing in your life. You feel that something is just not right. Not surprisingly, it's very hard for you to find peace and contentment. It seems that at any given second, something wrong might happen. It may lead to you losing money, or it may lead to you suffering from some sort of illness. Whatever the case may be, something's off. Something's not right. Rarely do you feel that if your world is perfect. It is no surprise that, given these symptoms, the Western world suffers from several systemic dysfunctions. In the Western world, there are high divorce rates. Too many people quickly conclude that their marriage is simply not worth saving. So this blows up the divorce rate. People are just not that patient with their relationships. Another symptom involves the high levels of drug use. This is particularly deadly in the United States because of the current opioid epidemic gripping that country. Some people have always self-medicated to deal with stress and anxiety. Maybe they smoke weed. Maybe they do cocaine. Maybe they shoot up heroin. Whatever the case may be, it numbs or suspends the pain for at least a period of time until they have to go back to the real world. Finally, the Western world, as well as Japan, has always suffered from high suicide rates. This is another reflection of the prolonged systemic dysfunction produced by depression, stress, and anxiety. If you need proof of this, just look at the top prescribed medications in any given year in the United States and many parts of the developed world. What do you see at the top? Antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications. This is guaranteed. In the top 10 of prescribed medications, you will always see those too. Something's got to give. Unfortunately, most of the time, it is you. Thankfully, there is a better way to handle your mental resources. You don't have to stress out. You don't have to freak out. You don't have to be emotionally on edge every single time. You don't feel like something wrong is going on or something's about to get knocked loose. The best thing about this better way of handling your mental resources is that it is 100% drug-free. That's right. No chemicals are involved. This method is also 100% natural. You deal with your mind as it exists. You don't have to buy a machine. You don't have to take drugs. You don't have to ingest anything foreign into your body. It is 100% natural. It works with how your mind works. It is also 100% conscious. You're not going to hypnotize yourself. You're not going to be under the mental control of another person. Finally, this system enables you to remain in 100% control of your mind. You call the shots. You pick the method and you work with it. It works on your schedule on your terms, and based on your needs. Sound awesome? Wouldn't you like to try this better way? Are you sick and tired of the regular ways you deal with stress, anxiety, and the daily strains of modern living? Well, here's the answer. Meditation. This training teaches you the ins and outs of practical meditation so you can come up with a solution that works best for you.